Hi, thank you for joining me on the Tech at Tech with your online provost from the DBC BZB Media Academy. Now, this is the third of the career guidance series for this 21st century marketplace. Yes, I have put together a little bit of information about what it takes to position yourself for the techie and 21st century modern jobs. And this is for undergraduates, youth, graduate, youth core members, anyone seeking employment, and of course, if you are a parent or guardian. In this video, I'll be answering the question, how can you position yourself for the techie and 21st century job market? Now, I have this first question for you. Do you have an email account? Are you shocked? Yes, I have met people who in this modern day do not have an email. Young people and adults alike. And when you ask them, they're like, why do I need an email account? Or, oh, I have one and it is dormant. I opened it a long while. Hey, wake up. Every job market, every job application submission, Every opportunity in terms of scholarship, things you need to apply for, every organization will ask you for an email. They will ask you to send your submissions, your application, your response to their email. And if you do not have a functioning email, how do you get information sent into your inbox? So that is the first place to start. Now the second question I would like to ask you is this. Do you have social media accounts? Yes, you are not social media savvy, you like your privacy, you are not down with all these Facebooking, Instagram, Twitter, and all of that. But guess what? That is where the world is. Everyone is on the internet, doing business, selling their brands, showcasing their brands, creating visibility. So, you will find out that everything and anything can be found online. When you talk about any field of endeavor, the medical people are there giving medical advice and information, the accountant is there, the business brands are there, the celebs and the notable key people are there. Every organization has a presence online. And this they do through having websites, they engage their audience via Twitter, on Instagram and on Facebook group, generating a followership and keeping their customers abreast of what is the latest thing in the organization. And guess what? Lots of opportunities that you are looking for as a young person seeking for employment, they are all there on the online platform. So you need to be there. You don't have to necessarily be on all the online platforms. You can choose the one where you will find the people doing what you would like to do. You can decide to be on Twitter, tweeting things, tweeting about the latest things that you have done. You can be, decide to be on Facebook, uh, Facebook. If I want to give you a job in the 21st century job market, employers, the old be employers, will look for you online. They want to follow your online print. They want to see what you're doing online. They want to get to know you because that is where things are working that is where it is happening now let's get to know how to position yourself for the tech techie and 21st century jobs apart from having an email and creating an online presence now like i said before every business is online now the first thing you need to do is get into the social media platforms study the trend Look at what is being shared online. Lots of information are online. You follow the trend. Look at what people are saying. Look at the companies you would like to work with. Visit their sites. Look at what they do. Look at what they have to offer. Look at their motto and their vision. Study the trend of the things going on online. And like I said, get to engage the online presence. Make yourself visible. Quickly, four things you need to do beyond your certificate if you want to land a job in the 21st century. 
four quick things you need to do if you want to land a techie and an appropriate job in the 21st century for yourself. Number one, get online and learn all you can. I retreat that again. Get online and learn all you can about how the online space works. And number two, do not stay aloof. Get connected to people, follow people that are doing things online. And when you have a social media account, what do you do with it? Yeah, it is not all about posting selfies and your birthdays and your happy family life. I mean, that's good. We want you to be down and real, be yourself. But it is also important that you be intentional about what you do online. You showcase what you do. Say you've gone for a training, you've gone for a seminar, you've helped out in, 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 in organizing an event. These are things that you should put on the online space on your social media account. Let's get to know you, let's get to know what you're doing. And would be employers, while searching for you, will be able to see that what you have shared with them in your CV, yeah, via their mail, actually tallies with some of the things you've been doing online. You see, you've been organizing a, 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 a social activities, you've been a team player. Do you have specific posts in your social media account that we can trace back to this? This is very important. Do not stand and get in there on the internet space and make yourself visible. Another thing that you should do is subscribe to job opportunity platform. There are loads of them. Of course, find out some some share uh, job opportunities that have that are that are stale. The, 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 the deadline is way way gone. But look for job platforms and subscribe where you can consistently get updates on latest job opportunities that you have in the market. So this is all about acquiring the skills that you need to be able to position yourself for the techie and 21st century modern job market. You need to understand how it works by getting on the social media where things are happening. Have a social media account, have an email account, follow people doing what you would like to do, get engaged in online courses there are loads of free online courses but of course if you want to get certified and you want to take your knowledge a step further be willing to pay so that you can equip yourself with the necessary skills to learn that 21st century job now there are jobs but there are not enough skilled people to earn and grab that job opportunity what are you doing to equip yourself and position yourself. Some young people, uh, they have opportunity, you know, of three, four jobs waiting for them. Why? Because they have equipped themselves, they have gone out to learn the skills required in the 21st century, you know, work market. And while some others are carrying their CV all over the place, the only thing they have to show for it is just a certificate that they've earned from the university that does not have a market value. So get in there. Do not stay at the and just make yourself visible, learn all you can, position yourself so that jobs will be pursuing you, you will not be pursuing jobs. And there are loads of opportunities. Never believe that there are no jobs. There are jobs if you are equipped and properly positioned to take on those jobs. I'll catch you in the next video where we'll be talking about getting a job experience getting work experience without having a job getting work experience without having a job and this is a requirement for many jobs they want to know your years of experience i'll tell you that secret in the next tete a tete with your online provost in this career guidance series for the 21st century job market see you